Okay, folks, welcome out to another episode of the All Things Adobe Podcast. This is Chad Perkins here. And what I'm going to show you here is something I've been getting a lot of requests for ever since we started this whole thing, and that is how do you become Adobe Certified Expert? So that's what we're going to cover in this movie. Uh, basically, you become a certified expert by passing a test in a given program. So you don't just become certified or a certified expert. You actually become a certified expert in a certain program. So you might be an Adobe certified expert in Photoshop or a certified expert in Illustrator, After Effects, or whatever. So I'm going to go over to adobe.com slash certified, and that's going to take me to the page where I can look up all the cool stuff about getting certified and get familiar with uh, this whole deal. Now the tests are pretty hardcore. Uh, they're pretty long, usually about uh, 60 to 90 questions a piece, and they're usually $150 to take. Now a little secret is if you are an educator, uh, you can get an educational discount for 50% off. You have to look on the internet because they keep changing the website for that, but if you look hard enough, you can find that 50% discount. But you don't get a discount for retaking it. So if you blow it, you can take it over again the next day or a next hour or whatever, but it takes you 150 bucks bucks again to uh, to do that and that's American dollars by the way now another thing about getting certified is that you're only certified in the version that you take the test of for example if I got certified in Photoshop 7 then I'm not certified in Photoshop CS2 or CS3 once you become certified you'll get access to this special page and you go in here and see uh, all the things you're certified in and when they expire and all that kind of stuff so all these little things the blue square are things that uh, I've been certified in uh, Acrobat, After Effects, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Encore, uh, all that kind of stuff, even old versions. So I was certified in Encore DVD 2 and I was certified way back in uh, Photoshop 6 and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of fun to, as a little proud point to like log in and see like all this crap that you're certified in and be like, oh, look how high and mighty my intelligence is. Not really, but it's kind of fun. Now, if you come over here to the main area, you click on Available A slash ACP Exams and Preparation Resources, it'll take you to this page. And basically what this is is a little uh, site here uh, where you can go and get help for uh, training for certification. So let's say if I go down to the Adobe Photoshop CS3 ACE, in other words, Adobe Certified Expert Exam, I click a different language here, English, French, and German, and I could click on English, for example, and that will take me to a PDF here. Oops, I got it minimized. Let me uh, maximize that. And uh, if we scroll down here in that PDF, uh, it'll give us a, a list of the topics, the general categories that you get tested in, and also all the different subcategories. So, for example, explain how to use filters and the filter gallery. And you better know every single possible thing you could ever know about using filters and the filter gallery. Same thing here. Categories are uh, painting and retouching and uh, creating using layers, working with selections, supporting video even in Photoshop, etc., etc. So this is, you'll get a different one of these for uh, After Effects or Premiere or whatever else you're testing in. Now, one other thing here, on this main adobe.com slash certified page I initially showed you, you'll see that there's actually three different types of certification. The base level is a new one called an Adobe Certified Associate. And this is one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to make this movie, is that I actually recorded this movie on how to become an Adobe Certified Expert uh, about a year ago, and then they changed it on me. So they, they added this Adobe Certified Associate, and I haven't had a chance to go back and update this movie. So an Adobe Certified Associate is basically kind of like an entry-level uh, certification. It's just something to say that you know the program a little bit. So those of you that are in high school that kind of fart around with Photoshop a little bit, this might be something cool for you to check out. A lot of times, some of you guys have like just some natural talents in Photoshop. You're just great right out of the box. You really don't need to go to a big art school or whatever. So maybe just taking a few community college classes just to know what all the buttons do and then getting uh, becoming an Adobe Certified Associate might be enough for you to get your foot in the door and start a great career with Photoshop or whatever program you're getting certified in. The next level up is an Adobe Certified Expert, which is much more grueling and intense of a test than the Adobe Certified Associate. And the highest level is the Adobe Certified Instructor. And basically what that is, it's somebody that has maybe a teaching credential or basically a certified teacher in some way. Also, you can get certified in that by uh, taking the CompTIA CTT Plus Certified Technical Trainer uh, certification, which is a really, really boring test where you uh, take this huge test on a computer that's like an hour and a half long, and then you actually have to videotape yourself teaching in front of a classroom and then send that in. They review how you teach and stuff like that. But then once you're an Adobe Certified Instructor, you can teach for training centers all over the country or all over the world. 
And just as a little secret tip, if you're an Adobe certified instructor, the average going rate is $400 a day US to uh, teach a class. Most classes are about two or three days, so you can do the math. It's actually a pretty, a pretty good career. Now, probably one of the best parts of becoming an Adobe Certified Expert, if not the best part of it, is that Adobe allows you to use their logo on your resume. They create this cool little uh, file for you. They give you a GIF for the web or they give you an EPS file that you can uh, put uh, on a printed file. And then on your website or your business card or your resume, whatever, you can actually have the Adobe logo on there. It's probably not enough to get you a job, but it's definitely enough to get your resume noticed in most instances. So there you have it, folks. That's how to become an Adobe Certified Expert or an Adobe Certified Instructor.